Hey guys, welcome to Functional Flow Pilates, studio and your home. We're gonna work on our TRX today or any suspension trainer that you might have. You can also find these at the gym if you're going to the gym during this time. Um, but here it is, the number one rule that I think it's important to remember throughout the whole process with TRX is that you always need tension, right? There's never a time that the line should be slacked so just remember that everything we do, always tension. Um, and if not, then we gotta clean it up a little bit. Let's just start with some simple moves and then learn how to spice it up. So in your squat, there's different ones. I like a little bit more upright, but you wanna have tension with your elbows bent and always you use your plank spine. So a little bit tuck of your ribs and your glutes and then drop your weight back, but still have weight through your toes. Squeeze all of your thighs and come up. What's nice is that you can let your shoulder blades squeeze to give you some assistance. And then bringing your weight back allows you to go deeper into your hips, loading up your butt cheeks and your thighs. For two, we're gonna spice it up. And one, all right, so now flip your palm. We're gonna do like a pull-up bicep curl, squeeze those elbows down. Your shoulder blades are going away from your ears. Slow your weight down as you reach your arms, bend at your hips and curl and squeeze. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit more of like a pull up or a chin up. So you wanna get more into your lower back body. And two, and one. And then rotate palm down. We're gonna go into a deeper squat. Here we go, really hang. Shift your weight slightly forward. Your elbows are gonna go wide to the side here. Try to get into your armpits, underneath your shoulders, into your lats, let your hips lift and squeeze. Pull your arms to your side body and then just lower down in that straight line. And so you're just keeping that constant tension, bearing your weight through your shoulders for another three and two and one hold it there pinch those armpits for three two and one come all the way up to standing Woo. reach it up flare your chest you can extend a little bit keep tension and then slowly bring it down all right we're going to work into our continued back body strength so here we go in our y your arms are overhead you want to keep those ribs in so fight it in you're going to bring those arms straight down in front of you pull it apart out in y and control your lower so your blades have to go down and into center squeeze and control hold your plank and squeeze because this is your y press and lift slow it down All right don't just drop your weight you want to slow it down good and then into your last and then stretch it forward to so feel that length in your shoulder blades Ooh, traction in your spine maybe let one knee bend opposite hip pull back for a stretch and then switch stay here nice and low you're going to rotate open stretch of the chest and then the other direction come all the way back to center and all the way back up so we went through all of this in a longer length um, anywhere between mid calf to just fully lengthen uh, depending on your space and how much room you can work into you might have to shorten up a little bit moving forward we are going to go a little bit shorter so you if you look about halfway there's a double line it'll be pretty much closer to that or higher and then we will get more into our single leg work okay so this puts you at a higher end here so your elbows are bent but when your fists are higher when you're standing here and then when you reach forward Right, you can still keep tension into your armpits. So you'll be able to find out if this is a good length. So if you just go into that flat back, right, earlier my arms were really pointing down. This one is a little bit closer to parallel. That's kind of where you're headed. All right, and then it just kind of depends on the flexibility of your shoulders. So let's go through a few passes here. Just going into this flat back hinge. Stretch it out. 
and keep your arms straight now. So now you're gonna drive from your hips. So you should feel that stretch behind your legs. Squeeze those hamstrings, your glutes, your spine all up in one piece. So try not to curl through it, right? It is a straight spine, straight legs up as much as you can. Two, ah, right, we're really driving into those hips. One, ah, okay. And then now we're gonna keep one foot in the center, one foot into your kickstand. So try to keep your hips even here. So your standing leg can be mostly straight or with a micro bend. Feel that stretch in that hamstring, squeeze up. So you're really working on keeping tension into your armpits, straight spine, ribs are in. Feel that glute and hip, and then squeeze it underneath you as you lift your spine. Go for three. And two. And one. And then we're gonna add our leg lift and pull from the back of that leg, squeeze it up, ah, toe tap, and lengthen. So you're just going for a nice stretch here, making sure that your hip's not opening up. Try to keep that leg long, but your hips are still pointed to the floor. And up, two, and one. So we're gonna go all the way up, pull that knee up to our chest. And then we're gonna work on length here. So we're, can we keep that leg floating? So this is our arabesque to high knee and arabesque, keep tension into your hands. All right, so you're keeping your upper back still engaged, trying to reach through it anytime you can do a toe tap, right? You're just working on your balance for two and one. And bring it all the way up, bring it down, walk it out, yeah. Right, she definitely felt your butt more than anything else. All right, let's go through the other leg. Remember that hip hinge with that kickstand. So make sure your hips are even facing forward. Your hips go back evenly. Load and lengthen. Squeeze and lift. All right, and every side is different. This is really going to challenge your hamstring and glutes that you're not into your spine to lift up. Ah. <sighs> Always into those butt muscles. You can put a little micro bend so you don't feel like you're just locking out at your joint. Last one. Try to add your leg lift. So straight line from head to tip of toe and everything comes up, right? Still tension on your line. Get that squeeze of that long leg reaching behind you, but your hips are still pointed to the floor. Try not to open up. And for two, and then into our last, we're going to add that knee tuck, nice and tall, reach away and arabesque. Inhale and exhale. Right, you kind of find your flow here. Keep your tension. I like to just go into a little bit of a row with my knee bending up just so I can keep tension on that line. And then get back all the way up and then walk it out. Ooh, all right. And we're gonna work into our squat back again. So walk it in a little bit more. We'll do more of an angled squat. This one will be like your all your body weight is hanging. You're gonna hold your plank here with your arms straight. You're gonna go down and up, drive through your hips and your glutes so you hold your plank. Can you keep those ribs in and bend and press? Ooh, add your row here at the top. Mm -hmm. So it's a deeper angle. When you go down and up, your arms are straight the whole time. Keeping your plank spine for two. And one, oh, I can feel myself slipping on my socks. Okay, let's do a stretch. Okay, so think of Y arms. Spread your feet out, ribs in, squeeze your glutes, legs are straight. One arm up, one arm down, you side bend with a twist. Keep tension, right? You're always pushing into those handles. That never ends. Keep that tension, keep that tension. Just rotate and twist all the way over to the other side. One more pass through. You really get a feel. It's one of my favorites. Look how much you can twist into it and stretch from shoulder to hip. And bring it all the way in. 
All right, to finish off our leg series here with our T-Rex, um, I want to get into more single leg work. So pick one foot to stay in center with your anchor. The other foot's kickstand in the front, right? So we did kickstand in the back, now it's kickstand in the front. So this is just for balance on that front leg. All your weight goes into that back leg and lift, right? So you can have your feet pretty much flat here. You get that assisted row to lift back up. You're loading that back leg. <sighs> really feel more quad here. Try to push through as much of your foot into the floor of that back leg. And last one, <sighs> all right? And then we can work with knee up, go down into that single leg. One of my favorite transitions, similar to what we did earlier, right, arabesque. Bring it up, hold tension, drop your weight into your hips. You could do a toe tap or do a lengthen like a pistol and reach. Inhale and exhale. Feel that length all the way through. Almost like we're just stretching, but obviously it's work. Go down in your squat as much as you're comfortable. You don't have to go all the way down. And then hold your arabesque and breathe. Three, two, and one, and up, and then we switch. So opposite foot in line. You're gonna have your split stance here, more weight into that back leg, into your back hip, drop into it, single leg, and up. Right, kind of test the waters on this hip. Every hip is different. It likes to bend and load. Kind of test it out. If you want to float the other leg, you can. Or go into a pistol. Ah, oh, that one's hard. And then at the top, go through your arabesque. And up. Slow it down. Drive it through. Knee up. Arabesque. And again, inhale. Exhale, and ooh, oh yeah, definitely toughy. I want one more, and reach it out and hold and breathe. Three, two, and one. All right, let's stretch it. Reach away, you have your star position, arms and legs. Let's stretch into our inner thighs. So you get your chest stretch with your handles and inner thigh stretch into this wide stance squat. And add your side bend of your spine. And up, hands behind. Stretch here. You can let your chest come forward as long as the tendons in front of your shoulders are happy. And then ribs in, really let your chest stretch here. Two and one. Let it go. Made it through about 10, 12 minutes. Easily, you can sweat it out with a T-Rex. A lot of lower body and standing with some upper body in the mix. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know how it works for you. I love to continue showing more of my T-Rex. Just let me know.